Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite products and the gear that I carry with me and use on a daily basis. If you like this video, if you wanna see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you get new videos in your feed. Now, before I actually get into the list of products that I wanna talk about, I do wanna preface this by saying I try to be a very conscious consumer. I try not to be very like material and showing off what I'm using. That's not the purpose of this video. Um, I wouldn't really describe myself as a minimalist, although Haley and I, with our house, it is, we don't have a lot of stuff. Um, but I, I still wouldn't describe us as minimalists. I would say that we're more just like conscious consumers. We try to think very carefully about before we buy anything, do we need this? Is it gonna add value? So we try to be very conscious. And when we do buy things, we try and buy things that are gonna you know, last a long time that are you know, better quality so that they last a bit longer. We get good use and value from them. So that's kind of just a general purchasing buying philosophy that we have uh, when we buy anything. So to get into this list, the gear that I use on a daily basis, well, first of all, let's just get all the Apple stuff out of the way. I do use a 2018 MacBook Pro, the 13 inch MacBook Pro. I've been using Macs since 2006. Apple Absolutely love them. I'm deep in the Apple system by now. And I choose to use a MacBook um, rather than an iMac because I am moving between this home office that I'm in right now and the co-working space where I work. And I went for the pro model because I am often doing videos like this, podcast production, that kind of thing. So I do, I, I would like that little bit of extra horsepower. So I've gone with the pro model. Now, some of the more recent MacBooks have had issues with the keyboards and I'm not gonna lie, I've definitely had some issues with this MacBook that I'm having. Um, the space bar was double spacing and it was really annoying. I've largely been able to solve this using an app called Unshaky which I'll put a link in the description below this video and in the show notes. And uh, that's really helped to kind of get rid of a lot of those um, double key entries, which has been really great. So that's my MacBook. I then use the iPhone, uh, which I'm actually just recording, using to record the audio for this podcast right now. I use the iPhone and the Apple Watch as well. It just kind of makes sense that if you use the MacBook to have the iPhone as well, I mean, with iCloud, handoff, uh, some of the continuity features, it just means moving between devices is so seamless and easy. And with all Apple's products, yeah, people, most people know that I'm an Apple fanboy. I just find them so easy to use and just uh, the design is just so well thought out. So hence why I use the iPhone, this is the 10s, and the iPhone, the Apple Watch, um, this is the second generation. This is a Nomad um, band that I've got on here. And um, yeah, the Apple Watch is good. Like I could live without it. I think it's good for like health tracking and sleep tracking, which I do like. Um, but yeah, I could live without it. I mean, you do have to get the, no the notifications set correctly. Otherwise it will just be bugging you all day. Um, so it's a cool product. It's a nice extension of the phone just to be able to kind of see notifications and not have to pick up your phone is really nice, but I could definitely live without it. Next, we have the Apple AirPods. And in my opinion, this is probably the best product that has come out of Apple in the last few years. Uh, on a number of episodes ago on my podcast, I talked about how I wasn't gonna buy AirPods because even though I really wanted them, they just seemed like a product that was really like a nice to have, not a need to have. So I wasn't gonna buy them. Haley, my lovely wife, actually bought them for an anniversary gift. And since having them, they are incredible. Absolutely love this product. I don't know quite what it is, but I think there's something amazing about the convenience of just being able to pop open the case, pull out an earphone, no wires to untangle, put it in your ear. I can double tap and just start my podcast without even touching my phone. That to me is just a really satisfying, convenient experience. And I just love, love the AirPods. Uh, this is, these are the first generation. This, this is not the new fancy wireless charging case, um, which is fine. I don't, I'm not particularly fast. I charge them about once a week. So it's fine with me. Okay, next for something a little bit different. These are, I absolutely love. These are my favorite pair of shorts. These are the Miles Apparel Momentum Shorts. And they are for, they're like, they're for going to the gym, doing your workouts in. I wear them for CrossFit. And the reason I love these shorts so much, number one, the they are made incredibly well. I've had these for a number of years now. They're not really showing any signs of wear and tear. They're not coming apart. Um, they've just stood the test of time really well, considering I, I really do trash them and work them really hard doing workouts and things in them at CrossFit. And the material, I love the material. I wish you could feel this. It's kind of like a really soft, really kind of like nice little bit of stretch in there as well. Incredibly comfortable, non-restrictive shorts. Love them to bits. Um, the pockets are really interesting as well. The pockets, can you see there? So they, they zip down. The pockets are actually um, backwards aligned. So they actually align like that way. So what this means is when you go for a run or you're doing a workout in them, 
your, if you've got a wallet or a phone in your pocket, it's actually kind of sitting down your leg and, and actually kind of going sideways down your leg rather than on the front of your leg. So it means your po your, the stuff in your pockets isn't banging against your leg. And it's just little things like that that make them just awesome to wear. Absolutely love those shorts. And along the same lines, I have the, I don't know how you pronounce them, Re Rehaband, Reband? Reband uh, knee sleeves, which I wear for CrossFit. Um, used to think I didn't really need them or that it was I was um, maybe becoming reliant on them before I needed them. But just uh, because, you know, in, in CrossFit, you're jumping on boxes, burpeeing up and down, um, lifting heavy weights. I really like the kind of confidence and just extra kind of layer of protection that these give you. Um, so I just wear them all the time. Just give me an incredible amount of just like extra confidence when I'm moving around and kind of throwing my body around during workouts. Next on my list, we have the Allbirds. Uh, these are the Tree Runners. Allbirds is a New Zealand brand um, where they've made shoes like this, runners, but they've got kind of slip-on shoes as well that are made from Merino New Zealand wool. I've had a pair of those in the past. Didn't act, They were really comfy, really liked them, but the Merino actually sort of collapses after a while. These are the Tree Runners, which are made of eucalyptus trees. Yeah, so th this shoe is made of a tree, which I think is incredible. Allbirds have this great um, kind of design philosophy and focus on sustainability, which I really love. And the tree runners are just incredibly comfortable. Uh, com com comfortable. Um, the inner soles, you can see they, they are actually made of merino wool. You can wear them without socks. If they get smelly or dirty, you can just throw them in the washer. They will clean up really well. And uh, yeah, just again, love, love wearing them. Really, really just good, comfortable pair of shoes. And uh, I wouldn't actually go running in them. I wouldn't say they're good for workouts, but just for kind of casual wear, they're becoming really popular now, just for casually wearing, um, yeah, really nice pair of comfortable shoes. And up next on my list, and I have another pair of headphones. These are the Bose Quiet Comfort uh, 35s. This is the first generation 35s. There's a new updated generation now, which I don't think are radically different. I think they support Alexa and Google Home or something, but this is the first generation. I spend a lot of my time, a lot of my day on calls with clients, and these are incredibly comfortable headphones uh, that are very, have very good noise cancellation as well. And that's the biggest thing is when you are on the phone a lot, having headphones that you can wear for a, like a number of hours, often I'll be on the phone for like maybe three hours back to back. These are just the comfiest thing. Um, and uh, yeah, absolutely love wearing them. The reason I have two pairs of headphones, the AirPods are more for commuting, walking, uh, where I'm just kind of casually listening to a podcast. This is, these are work, these are for work. They're Bluetooth, they're wireless. Um, they do come with a cable as well, so you can plug them into the computer, but they have really good battery, really good charge. They will last like, probably charge them once or twice a week, maybe. Um, microphone's very good as well. And uh, yeah, obviously a bit pricier in, in the way that headphones go, but you know, for the amount of time I'm spending on calls and things, absolutely, yeah, these headphones are really, really worth it. I will say that recently, I mean, I've had them a while recently, the cushioning here was starting to flake off, which was really disappointing considering you, you know, paying a lot for these headphones. The cushioning was flaking. I actually was able to buy some replacement cushions on Amazon from Bose, like official replacements. Um, so it's a little annoying that I had to do that, but definitely worth it to kind of get some extended life from the headphones. They feel brand new now. I actually feel like since I've put the replacements on, the noise canceling feels even better. They're more comfier than before as well because the cushions just kind of wear out over time. Um, bit fiddly to replace, but definitely worth doing. Up next on my list, we have uh, some tiles. So this is the Tile Slim. Can I get the lighting right there? This is the Tile Slim. You can see it's very thin. It's a Bluetooth tracker that goes into my wallet. And this is the Tile Pro that goes on my keychain. And these Bluetooth trackers are great to just put on your stuff, wallet, keys. You can put them on your bag, camera. And so they just show you where you last left your stuff. And you only need to lose your wallet once. This has happened to me once where I've absolutely lost my wallet and you have to like cancel all your cards, get a new driver's license. It's a real pain. You only need to go through that experience once to realize that, yep, the money you need to spend on a tracker is well worth it. Um, the Tile Slims, you can't replace the battery. They last about a year. Tile Pros, this is a new one. They now have the ability to put in a new battery. You used to have to replace them again once every year. Um, now you can replace the battery, which is, which is a lot more convenient. And yeah, just with the Tile app, you can find where, where do I leave my keys? And then when you get close enough, you can actually trigger the Tile to then um, emit like an audible alert. So you can actually hear it and find it, which is really, really useful. Okay, up next, we have some business cards. These are business cards by, let me fan those out a little bit, by Moo. And these cards, what I love about them, um, so actually a bit of history. 
I don't really need many business cards. Running a virtual business, uh, it's all virtual. People just kind of find me through my website. But occasionally, I do meet people and I want to give out a card. Um, and I was going to a conference a few years ago. I didn't have any cards. And I thought, I'm going to get some. And I'm going to get, I'm going to get the Lux cards by Moo, which is what these are. Now, these, if you, you can maybe see there, they're a little bit thicker. You can see that. They're quite sort of thick. And you might not be able to pick it up on the camera, but there's a little blue edge to them as well. And so they get a lot of compliments. These are really fancy cards. Um, I didn't buy many. I think I bought a box of, tw uh, no, more than 25, 50, I think it was. So they're a bit pricier, but because I don't give out many, I was like, what the heck? Like, I don't mind. Happy to spend a little bit more. And they always get compliments. Um, people just, you, people pick that up and they're like, oh, wow, that feels great. Sort of a bit of an American psycho moment where it's like, wow, that, that card is awesome. And uh, yeah, the Moo cards, uh, sorry, Lux cards by Moo, uh, really great cards. Guaranteed to get compliments every single time. Okay, my wallet, my daily wallet is a Bellroy. Uh, this is the card sleeve by Bellroy. It's great for just like a really minimal sort of little wallet you can carry with you. I don't need any, I don't use any cash. In New Zealand, we can get away with cards almost, well, well yeah, everywhere. Don't need any, uh, any, any cash. And you can store your kind of favorite cards. I have two, two different credit cards, but you can store your favorite cards on the outside. And then there's a little pull tab. You've got more cards in the middle. And it's just like a really nice, simple, minimal wallet. No extra kind of extra layers of leather, which make it too bulky. So it's just a really small little wallet that is just nice for carrying just the essentials. I also have the Bellroy note sleeve as well, which is great if you're traveling, you do need to carry cash. It's a really nice uh, wallet that kind of folds out. Uh, that's a really nice handy wallet if you are traveling. But Bellroy make great products. They're, they started with wallets. They're doing more bags and things, which I have coming up next as well. But they've started with wallets and their wallets are really nice. You can see it's kind of wearing away a little bit there. They kind of developed this really nice um, kind of shine and, and nice worn leather look over time. They start off looking really pristine and new, but they, they kind of develop some character over time as well. So it's got a little little shine to it. You can see the numbers being etched in there as well. Um, so they age really well. Again, really good quality wallets. And that brings me on to the Bellroy laptop brief. This is the bag I use on a daily basis to move between my office here at home and the co-working space. It's a great bag. It fits my, you know, 13 inch MacBook Pro really nicely. It's got really good padding here. So it really does protect your, your laptop really well. This padding is really thick, like that's meaty. You know, it's, it's really secure. Tons of internal storage, some um, kind of elastic pockets here, which the headphones can go into. It means I can take my headphones without a case. That's really nice. There's some zipped pockets there. Storage on the outside, which you can kind of put some extra pens and bits in. Don't really use that section. Storage on the back, this un unbuttons. And actually there is a, there is a zip under here. And now I can put my arm completely through there. What it means you can do is you can actually slot this over like a suitcase. So you'll see on their website, they have pictures. This can go through the um, carrying like handlebars of your suitcase and just slots over the top, which is quite cool. I don't really do that much, but it is kind of a nice little extra feature. The shoulder strap can untouch, it can tuck in. You can then use it as a, just like a laptop, uh, like, a, like a briefcase if you want to kind of look more professional. I mean, I just use it in the kind of satchel mode. I've had this over a year. It's, it, I don't think it's, it's not really showing any signs of wear and tear. Again, like with the wallets, Bellroy's stuff is just really well made, really stands the test of time. And I just really love this satchel. Uh, it's kind of just enough room for everything I need to get to the office, store some food in here as well. Yeah, just none of that extra unnecessary bulk. Okay, getting towards the end now and coming up here, I have, this is the B2 Nano Blade by Bomber and Company, I wanna say. I found this on Kickstarter a few years ago. And this is, so this is a little tactical knife. This is advertised as the world's smallest tactical blade. Now, I, um, for years I've had different pocket knives and multi-tools and things. I think those kind of tools are really handy to have on you. This is something I learned from my dad who had a multi-tool on his belt, which always comes in handy. So I really like the idea of carrying a knife, but just having them in my pockets, they felt too bulky. And, I, and so I would never take them with me and I would never have a knife on me when I needed one. Found this on, on Kickstarter and I was like, wow, that is tiny. And I can actually put this in the coin pocket of my jeans. So I, so I actually put it like in there, in that little coin pocket. And I, I literally, you don't even know you have it sometimes. You forget that you have it almost. Um, it's so small and it's really handy. Obviously I can't, I can't like fight off a bear with this, but for cutting up boxes or when you do find yourself in a situation you need to break some tape or something, just a great little knife that you can, you know, whip out. And look, it opens up, it locks, it's got like a serrated bit as well. Um, and then you can kind of pull the lever, closes away. Yeah, just a super, 
super small little knife, which I don't really find comes in handy. And now last but not least, I don't even have a, a brand or a specific product to recommend, but just stainless steel water bottles. This is actually one that I got free from our supermarket. They were giving them, them away as a gift. But you can get these everywhere now, um, these kind of double-walled stainless steel bottles. They're great for keeping drinks hot or cold, so you can put water in here, it stays cool for hours. And I have a number of these lying around now. I have one here in the office, I have one at work, I have one by my bed, I have one downstairs. It kind of means that wherever I am, I have a bottle of water nearby. And it means it's just much easier to stay hydrated and I don't have to take bottles to different places with me. I kind of have a bottle wherever I am. And I much prefer stainless steel to plastic. Even the BPA free ones, I know they're supposedly better, but the plastic just kind of gets a bit mucky and not, not very nice over time. I just find the stainless steel ones are really nice, keep your drink cooler as well. And so that's just a little life hack that I've kind of developed is having bottles of water stashed around the place and I've always got water handy. And um, yeah, really like the, this kind of stainless steel variety. They're really good. So there you have it. That's my list of favorite products and gear and stuff that I use on a daily basis. Let me know if you have any thoughts, feedback, or favorite products of your own. You can leave me a comment below the, this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.